Hello, my name is Dr. Purud Dhawan and today in this video, I'm going to talk about the best suitable diet for a patient suffering from CKD. Diet play a very important role in any patient who is suffering from chronic kidney disease. As 50% of the patient's treatment can be done by diet only. With the help of proper diet, we can control many things in a patient's body who is suffering from CKD. Whether it is creatinine, urea, potassium or sodium. A CKD patient needs to control all these levels because all these things are consumed through food only. So with the help of proper diet plan, any CKD patient can reduce this level. Generally, a patient suffering from CKD is more concerned about creatinine values. We first need to understand how creatinine is formed inside the body. Creatinine is a waste material which is formed in the muscles of our body. It is made when the protein in the body breaks down. So if any patient desire to reduce their creatinine level, then they should reduce the protein consumption in their diet. But it's also necessary to maintain proper protein intake in the body because our body's constituency of protein lies between 15 to 20 percent. Our nails, hair, eyes, heart, everything is made of protein. So if we stop consuming protein, then it will lead to deficiencies. And if we eat excess amount of protein, then it will increase the creatinine levels. So what I advise to all CKD patients is to consume your body's daily requirement of protein, but not to consume more than that. Also, CKD patients are advised not to consume any heavy or hard to digest protein like chicken, meat, fish, dairy products like butter, cottage cheese. To fulfill the body's daily requirement of protein, you can consume milk and pulses because they are easy to digest, properly absorbed by the body and they create very less waste material inside the body which helps the CKD patient to control their body's creatinine level. Now the next thing we need to control inside the body of a CKD patient is urea. But again, we need to first understand how it is formed inside the body. Urea is a chemical enzyme which is formed when our liver is digesting our food. It is a type of nitrogenous waste which when start to get accumulated in the body can cause symptoms like vomiting and nausea. So if we want to reduce urea level in the body, we have to consume such type of food in which our liver has to work less. For example, if we eat fried food, then our liver has to work more so that it can break down the food for the body. So it is obvious the more our liver work, the amount of urea will be produced in the body. Now you have understood how urea is formed and why it is harmful for the body. So the question arises, what type of food a CKD patient should eat to control the urea levels in the body? CKD patients are advised to avoid eating any type of food which is fried. Instead of that, you can consume light food like rice, chapati and bread as they are easier to break down and it will help to reduce the urea level in the body. Now let's start with the potassium. It is much more lethal than creatinine. Excess amount of potassium in the body can lead to death of CKD patient. But unlike creatinine and urea, potassium is not formed in the body as it goes inside the body from the food we eat. So if we are consuming any food item which contains more amount of potassium, then it will increase the level of potassium and that would be reflected in the patient's KFT report. And I advise all the CKD patients to consume the food which are low amount of potassium constituency by nature. So in a CKD patient, we have to avoid vegetables which are tuberous and brown in color. That means any vegetable which is grown below the surface of earth and brown in color has to be avoided because they contain potassium in high amount. These vegetables are potato, sweet potato and complete list of the vegetable which has to be avoided are on your 
screens. Similarly, I advise the CKD patient to avoid all leafy vegetables as they contain potassium in high amount. These vegetables are spinach, parsley, cabbage, lettuce, mustard, and fenugreek. Now let's move to fruits. In terms of fruit, CKD patients should avoid eating bananas, coconut, ripe fruits, traits, and avocado as they contain potassium in high amount. In category of fruits, we have also have to avoid all kinds of citric fruit in a CKD patient. Fruits like mango, oranges, grapes. Now, now reason behind avoiding these fruits are metabolic acidosis. Now to make you understand more about metabolic acidosis, I will make a separate video and you can watch that video. Now let's move to the sodium. Generally sodium is consumed by a person through common salt only. Now, if a patient of CKD wants to control the level of sodium inside the body because the reports are showing more sodium in the blood, then patient has to control the level of salt intake so that the level of sodium can be controlled easily. Now, let's move to the fluid. How much amount of fluid can be taken by a CKD patient? Now, if a patient of CKD consume large amount of water, what will happen? The water will accumulate inside the body and it will be seen as a pedal edema. As the patient has consumed less amount of water, lesser amount of urine will be formed. And when the lesser amount of urine will form, what will happen? Less amount of creatinine will be excreted out through urine and creatinine will be increased in the blood. So it is advised to all CKD patients to consume right amount of water. Now the question arises, what is the right amount of water for a CKD patient? Now this amount of water depends person to person because sometimes we live in a very hot climate where the body requirement of water is high. And some patient lives in a very cold climate where the requirement of the fluid is lower. Now we can't give the same amount of water to both patients because the body requirement of fluid is different in both cases. So patient have to judge amount of water independently. If you're feeling thrust, your throat is dry, your tongue is dry, you, you can consume 100 ml of water in a single go. To provide sufficient amount of water to all my CKD patients, I advise them to consume 100 ml of water whenever you feel urge of thrust. Whenever your throat is dry, your tongue is dry, that means you have an urge of water, then drink the water but never consume half liter or one liter of water in a single go. This helps the patient of CQT to control the amount of water in the body. At last, I would like to say that if you are follow a proper diet, then there are high possibility that you can recover your kidney functioning. If you have any query or question related to diet and CQT, you can feel free to share in the comment section of this video. Till then, stay safe, eat healthy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.